Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair, and today I wanted to share with you a few ideas on why strong people have high standards. So let's begin our journey with an important question. What's the upside of lowering the bar? I'm talking about lowering standards, lowering expectations, and lowering anything for that matter. The answer is zip, zero, nada, ungats, nothing. Yet everywhere you look, the entire world seems to be playing its own unique game of the limbo dance. How low can you go? You see, the performance, the quality, political, educational, entertainment, banking, media, corporate, and overall leadership bar is continuously being lowered, and the race to the bottom seems to be accelerating. Check that. It is accelerating. You see, racing to the bottom is a socioeconomic phenomenon which occurs when any party knowingly lowers standards, when they cut corners, when they lie, they cheat, and steal, when they engage in deception, and they make ever-increasing concessions and compromises. In short, it's blatantly doing the wrong things for the wrong reasons. It's about time that somebody said it, somebody addressed it, and I'm happy to get up on a soapbox and start crowing about it. You see, the people, the places, and the things that are playing race to the bottom is too long to permit specific discussion. But saying that they all emanate from short-term, self-interest thinking, such as getting elected or re-elected, quarterly results, competitive advantage, bonuses, or just about anything associated with a shortcut or quick fix, can dispose of them all. And this dirty, behavioral ring around the collar always leads to adverse consequences that may go unnoticed until it's too late to change course. Quite frankly, I'm disgusted by it, especially when most of the decisions are being made by highly educated people who should know better, but who have allowed their character to be corrupted by the seduction of power, control, and greed. Now, why do I know this? Well, three magical words. Behavior never lies. See, the world has shifted into two distinct camps. The non-conform minority, who have chosen the race to the top. These are the ones who've decided that excellence, equality, freedom, peace of mind, character, and integrity are noble ideals worth pursuing and never surrendering. And the conform majority in the relentless race to the bottom. You must decide then, which camp are you going to be in? So are you racing to the top or speeding to the bottom? Which race are you teaching your kids to be part of? Are you proud of your performance and the example that you set? And how do you know for sure which race that you're playing? Once again, it's an easy one. Just look at your behavior because behavior never lies. So you might be wondering, what's the solution? Well, before we focus on a solution, let's have a look at two very important rules of behavior that are always going to be in play. And I emphasize, always going to be in play. The first is that behavior that gets rewarded gets repeated. And it's for this reason why you want to set high standards and expectations, why you want to establish and enforce strict boundaries, and why you want to determine what is acceptable and unacceptable. And then you want to go out of your way to acknowledge, to reward, and celebrate the very virtues that you want demonstrated by others. Unfortunately, this is the road less traveled by. And the second rule that we must be mindful is this. Behavior that gets tolerated gets repeated. And this explains why we must confront abuse why we must reprimand intolerable behavior, why we must enforce self-discipline and take greater controls of our lives, where the consequences are real and virtually guaranteed. So now let's focus in on the solution. How do we stop the abuse? How do we empower strength and not tolerate weakness? How do we ensure that we live a life of excellence and make the most of this one life that we've been given? Well, the answer is as simple as it is profound. You must raise your standards, you must elevate your expectations, and you must step up your overall game by making everything you think, say, and do count. You see, anytime you sincerely wish to make a positive change in your life, the first and the most important thing you must do is to raise your standards. This is a rule without an exception. You must first expect and demand more from yourself, and only then can you expect and demand more from those around you. And this means having zero tolerance for mediocrity, for procrastination, for negativity, deception, lack of professionalism, or any form of internal or external abuse behavior that robs you of self-esteem, self-confidence, or increased performance. You either get the importance of this message, or you do not. So send a memo to yourself that you will not tolerate low standards or any form of internal or external abuse. Seriously consider confronting and reprimanding anyone who violates those new higher, nobler standards, especially the person in the mirror. And if by chance you think this one's too harsh, here's my promise to you. You'll continue to get 
what you tolerate. And consider this fair warning. What you put up with, you will end up with. So let's be frank. Let's just hit this one right between the eyes. The temptation and the opportunity to cut a corner and to sacrifice a clean conscience while grabbing a few extra bucks or gaining market share will always, I emphasize, will always present itself. So too will the opportunity to do the right thing, to set the right example, and to be a man or woman of integrity. And the race to the top just makes so much more sense to me, as the race to the top is focused on respect, on dignity, guts, innovation, and sustainability, and yes, compassion and generosity, when it might otherwise be easier to be selfish. It's also risky, it's filled with difficult moral and emotional hurdles, and it requires patience, sincere effort, and mature thinking. Without a doubt, the race to the top is the long-term plan with the most desirable outcome. And that is why I'm calling you out right here, right now. You want to be the change you want to see in the world. You want to be the one who raises the bar. You want to be the one who plays a superior game. You want to be the one who's setting the right example. And most importantly, you want to be the one who's leading the race to the top. And racing to the top is what the 100 Day Challenge is all about is you'll learn the mindset, the skill set, and the tool set that you need to compete at the very best of your ability and to win. So go to 100daychallenge.com. Check it out. Make it the very next thing you do.